Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. I'd like to show you a project that I did for the 2017 Julie Nutting Doll Stamp Collaboration. I'm one of the hosts, um, and the other hosts are uh, Terry, who is Terry EO1 on YouTube, and Don, who is Dare to Be Creative. There are about 25 other uh, collaborators that are actually making a project this month. Well, every month we have committed to make a project um, using the Julie Nutting Dolls. This month it was an Easter or Spring theme and the prompt was pastel colors. I guess however you decided to do that. I don't know if mine worked out that way because as I mentioned, I'm coming to you late. And it was because I had to redo my project, okay? Not because it wasn't something that you all would like. I'll just do that another time because, okay? Um, I'll show you that project another time. Uh, I wanted to bring you something that was different using, um, let's see. I used Marisol. I used her. And I used her die, the metal die. There's a dress to this. There's a stamp to this, isn't it? I think there is. I need the stamp. I'll show you what I did and how I did it. I used that and I also used this metal stamp and I used uh, the window. Yeah. And I kind of made it 3D by using the, you know, um, the craft paper, just stacking it. Um, yeah, so let me, oh, I used the other doll, let's see, the cowgirl, one of them, where is she, I don't think I have her here, because what happened <laughs> was, uh, last month, let's see, I have her here, yes, I used her without her hat. Last month, I lost these two dolls when I put them together, so they're in the green clothes, but, um, yeah, I found her. So I decided to put her on my projects. I do have another project that I did or that I'm doing. And I could do another video showing you that. But, yes, this is going to be the first project I show you. And let's see, what did I do? I kind of did it mixed media. I used my uh, Liquitex Heavy Gel. I used a some acrylic paints and I use a burlap canvas when I tell you guys I had a hard time doing this I think I kind of panicked because I didn't have my project on time but I wanted to make so many different things and I had already made something and like I said um, I wanted to bring you all something new and different uh, the project that I was going to do it wasn't new or different it was just done I did it like two years ago and hadn't finished it and wanted to show it to you but someone had did that already so I didn't want to give you the same project so this is my project and it is my uh what is it my sign for this collaboration this is all that I got done because it took me, when I tell you it took me a long time to get this done. Whew, yes it did. Okay, so I also used that reindeer moss. I'm loving this stuff. And uh, I actually purchased it. Here it is. From, I think, AC Moore. It's called the Moss Collection. And a batch of this, let's see how many ounces. It can't be many. It doesn't even say. But, uh. It just says, it's reindeer moss. And it was only like $4.99. And I think it could have been cheaper than that. I don't know. But I know I used, I either had a 20% off or I used a coupon with it. I can't tell you which one it was because I don't know. I have some of the teeny little roses cascading down from the moss. Because I thought it made it look more spring-like. But I did use this window. And as I told you, I take a piece of paper and I fold it in three and make stuff like this 3D so I wanted to do that to that window and uh, then Marisol 
actually took her and I think there is a stamp for her her dress because um, the edges I couldn't get quite right because I didn't have the actual stamp I have the die so I'm gonna have to look to get that stamp you know when you think you have everything and then you do something and you say ah, that's not quite it yes yeah, so I think there's a stamp to her but these are two pieces the dress I used a let's see this I used this paper stack I used the white and this teal looking color and then I used I put on it I put I don't know if you could see it the little studs the diamond studs that I have on there it is actually this right here and I think I get this. Yeah, I know I get this from AliExpress for a little of nothing. I think just put bling in, you'll get it'll come up. But uh, yeah, for my bricks, I actually use I think I told you that the matte super heavy gel, and I use a stencil. It's a brick stencil, and I think I I'm washing it up, so I don't have it with me. And I think it was one of Sawcrafter stencils. Yeah, so I used the stencils to do the bricks, and then I painted them with uh, acrylic paints, and then I washed it over with a, sh a spray. And it wasn't a shimmer spray, or uh, no, it wasn't a shimmer spray, but to give it that. Um, you know, to highlight all the details, I just used that spray. And the letters are the Prima letters that, I love these, but um, yeah, I used those letters. And this says the 2017 Julie Nutting Doll Stamp Collaboration. It doesn't say the whole thing, but you get it, right? Okay, so that is my project. And this girl came from last month. I found her she was the other girl and the other one I actually put in a another book of mine that I'm doing since I found her I just went ahead and added her to the book but yeah you guys that is my project I don't know if you all would do something like this so you like it but this is just an idea of how you can I'm trying to get the little um, buds I mean you know the glue globs yeah how you can actually use this window to make a scenery or whatever but I like it and this is going to be my backdrop for my when I do my uh, when I do my my doll stamps yes yeah, so I may add something from time to time I was going to use the guy and put him over there, but then I'd have to, keep, I could have kept going with this. And I just said, okay, you know what? Enough already. So, yeah, this is the new doll, the new window, the window die, and the new dress. So, I wanted to put those on there. And I might just make more and do different sceneries. But this is one of mine, and I think it's cute. I think it came out okay. I panicked over this thing, so I'm sorry again. I apologize for being late, but yeah, let me know if you like it, and I guess I owe you guys, right, since I was late for this project, but I wanted to get it done. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Um, oh, yes, uh, the other ladies' links will be in the description box, so if you haven't seen them, I know I'm late. If you haven't seen them, you might want to click on the links or either just look on your sidebar and they'll probably pop up because we're all using the same um, title. So usually if, if you pull up one, the rest of them come up. So yeah, that is my project. I hope you like it and... Um, Thanks for watching. Thanks for if you're if you've joined our collaboration. Thank you so very much. Thank you, ladies, for participating. And anyone else that want to participate, just use our title. And of course, you'll be able to participate right along with us. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.